The mark is wetting. <laughs> What's good, Empire? Welcome back to another lit video. It is your girl, AB. That's me. And I am back with another banger. Okay, y'all, I'm not trying to do too much i'm trying to work on being so extra which that is hard because i'm if you know me i'm extra look up in the dictionary extra and you will find me <laughs> but for real before we get into the video guys i need you guys to click that thumbs up button click that subscribe button also guys i ask that you please click the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we drop a little banger over here yeah not too much ab um anyway yeah y'all go ahead and do that for me so we can go ahead and get into this video um comment down below if you want post notification shout outs i am doing post notification shout outs at the end of every lit video i already know what to do go ahead and spam them comments up down below and hopefully you'll win the post notification shout out but anyway y'all welcome 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 for those of you who are new because we did gain a little bit of new people y'all i am ab um this is my channel i have been doing youtube a little over a year like consistently um and yeah it's been fun but it's been a journey y'all got my wine here my ice cubes are melting so i'm gonna go ahead and while we talking hopefully i don't waste it because i'm clumsy too look that up in the dictionary you'll find me too but um yeah like i was saying um yeah y'all i'm ab if y'all new here welcome and for my OGs, what's up, y'all? Don't forget to click the thumbs up button. Click the subscribe button and leave me a comment down below. And let me know if you're OG or not. But um, F all that. Besides all that, um, let's get into the topic. So a lot of y'all, a lot when I say a lot of y'all have been blowing your girl up. And if y'all know, I have been trying to take a break from this here YouTube. But y'all make it so hard. And this shit is good. Y'all make it so hard. Like, it's like, especially like in this sector, because no other sector have I really just been there from the beginning. So this sector, I really, you know, I can speak on because I know everything. Like, I know everything that happened in this sector. But um, even for y'all who think I don't be knowing, I know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Every y'all been hitting me up, asking me like, "Ab, like, do a reaction on this, do a reaction on that," which we all know what y'all see by the title. The muck is wet. <laughs> Man, y'all have been going crazy. Y'all been going crazy. So, you know me, Patty Betty. <laughs> I got this line out. Be ready for some bullshit. No. No, no, we're not doing no bullshit. But no, for real. So, y'all want to know what I think about the wet end and the whole shenanigans and all that other stuff. So, we're going to, we, I'm going to just, this is the way where I can just say how I feel and I can edit anything out that may be too, you know, a little too much for people to handle. Because I know a lot of people are sensitive and they be butthurt over a lot of stuff. Not saying, you know, anybody in particular. It's just with me, like, I, sometimes I say stuff and... People be trying to go, are you with me on the panel or in them comments? So this is my way of just putting putting out, you know, what I have to say and leaving it at that. Now, of course, when it's all said and done, they'll be reacting to it. So um, y'all be looking for that. But I just really want to speak on thus far, thus far. So the muckers have been posting this weekend, y'all. Y'all, everybody know that the wedding was sometime near Christmas. Everybody knew that um off of a video they posted a few days ago that and that was before christmas they said that i think it was a podcast they did y'all know let me know in the comment section down below um but if i'm not mistaken it was a podcast that they had did um toy was just basically saying like um she wasn't given a date but it was you know it was in december basically um so december is about over and i did see <laughs> earlier that they got married december 17th so that was really <laughs> before christmas way before christmas but um you know firstly congratulations y'all y'all look happy that's all that matters honestly like what if fuck what everybody fuck what i'm saying i just feel like now now everybody can just stop with the accusations with the made up stories and everything else like just stop because at the end of the day 
we all know how they came into this YouTube situation. And, you know, we all know the other side is just full of lies. Like, they always come with false. Like, it's never, it's never factual. Like, I just feel like if we're going to call anything out, let's call the fake weddings out. If we're not going to talk about people faking weddings and faking a marriage, we don't, we can't really speak on these people over here, the muckers who are, you know, actually showing that. I think they put at the end of their videos now they they didn't believe I, know it. I didn't I'm not gonna lie but um you know and that is true like a lot of people thought that including myself thought that it was cap like the whole wedding situation was cap um and I feel like now that it has been proven that they have been married that everything should have been dead like it should have been dead because you know we were wrong but no now you know when they don't have nothing else to say they just keep talking like that's just not me like it, it's really nothing that you can say about these people anymore like they got married so what she don't owe erica nothing he don't owe her shit to be honest he owe that baby something but he don't owe her nothing um you know now they're trying to say that the backyard wedding was ghetto it was it was a mess like it was ugly but I don't see nobody else on here showing what their wedding looked like. I don't see nobody else showing a man. I don't see nobody else on here showing their face. So y'all got some nerve. And honestly, like, that that's what should keep Toya and Mucker pushing. Like, it's people like that that speak on your life that they don't even, they don't even show their life. They don't even have enough courage to get on here and do, you know, the things that YouTubers do. So, you know, you just sit back and do what you do and hate. <laughs> and honestly, like what I have to say about all the hate about the wedding and what it looked like, like y'all are doing y'all job. Like haters, you know, let them do their job. Like they're doing their job. You can't be mad at them for doing their job. So <laughs> they mad make them matter. Y'all obviously doing something right. And that's, that's what it is. That's something that I try to live by on this YouTube stuff because YouTube, listen, <laughs> YouTube be making you want to pull up on somebody for real in real life. <laughs> no, but I really, I, I'm, I'm genuinely happy for them. Like, because I know like, and that's the thing, like happy people not hating, happy people not hating. And honestly, like y'all not on here speaking anything truthful about these people like if y'all get on here and actually speak truth and there y'all don't mind the little debris falling out it's from the light y'all can see every little thing um the dust that's what it's called the dust <laughs> but like they picking apart every little thing but it's like is no actual factual in what you're saying everything is just hating to me it's not no you know you 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 know you're lacking here you're doing what is it what is it and then people bringing up seven bank accounts, like, <laughs> how many bank accounts do you have? Quite frankly, I just feel like you could be the richest person in the world, okay? Or oh, one of the richest people in the world and not be happy. But you could be the poorest person in the world and, you know, just have everything. Have a peace of mind. Have actual, genuine happiness. Like, people don't understand that over a lot of people here. Like, it, nine times out of ten, they be the millionaires and the billionaires just unhappy with their life. And the poor the poor people, what y'all want to call it, ghetto people, who really out here happy. Like, genuinely happy. So, and if you, I watch a lot of interviews with a lot of successful people. If you watch... If you really listen, they try to tell you like money, money don't buy happiness. Money cannot buy happiness. For me, I feel like it can. <laughs> Let me stop. But no, for real, like if you listen to them, a lot of them will tell you like money don't buy happiness. You got to find that shit within. So at the end of the day, like at this point, I think we should really stop trying to be so hard on them because one thing about it, they didn't tell a lot. They didn't, you know, they didn't. If anything, they're honest with their supporters as opposed to the other side who fake in marriages just because y'all gonna believe it, just because y'all gonna fall for it because they know that y'all are dumb enough to follow up with that, to really, you know, indulge into the bullshit. If we being honest, like y'all dumb enough and naive enough to go with whatever they say and they know that. And it's been said before, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, that's really how I feel, y'all. Like, I just honestly feel like a lot of people have so much to say but we don't see nobody else on here really 
you know, living in a truth. What what my sis say, living in a spirit and truth, we don't see nobody else on here doing that. Like, at the end of the day, like, we can't, we can't no longer call them liars. We can't no longer say that, you know, it's going to be a fake wedding. It, like, no, they're showing you that this shit is actual, like, it's real. So, who are we to say, oh, y'all faking it just because how they got together? We can't, we can't do that. Because a lot of y'all sleeping with married men. And it's a lot of y'all on that other side who don't have men. And that's that's one thing that I'm noticing too. Like, y'all don't have men. Y'all miserable. Um, And y'all, nine times out of ten, y'all claim y'all have a man, boyfriend, whatever. But he's taken. Y'all like to, you know, be with other people, men. I don't understand that none of y'all over there who be talking so much junk don't have a companion <laughs> and that's the part that i don't get like who are you to speak on anything you can't even keep them like, I... listen <laughs> we having so much balls for somebody behind a computer screen like you won't even show your real faces like and then that's the thing about these people who talk so much junk but don't show their face if they do show their face it's a, a filter it's a fake picture. Like, they skin look lighter. They got a filter on. It's always something. Like, y'all never, like, show what you like. Show what you look like. Your family look like. And y'all love coming for people's family, too. Like, and y'all don't know when to stop. I feel like think things are working out how they working out. Because um, if we being honest, Toya and Mucker, not even so much. We're going to leave Mucker out of it. But we're going to say Toya. She was bullied. And I was a part of the problem. I've apologized for it. Can't apologize enough. But she most definitely was bullied. And that's the thing. She still gets on here and, and push out positivity. She don't push out hate. She don't push out, you know, degrading another woman. She don't send people to do her dirty work. None of that. None of it. And she's even had to move jobs for the sake of this girl. Like, it's, it's giving obsession. Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And it's just like, you know, people going to go with whatever, you know, whoever, whoever, I can't even say that. I can't even say that. People show their true colors. You see who really genuine and who really deceitful, evil, and conniving. Some of this stuff that people sit up here and support and uplift people in doing, like, in their wrongs, it just blows me. It really does. Like, damn, you don't have a brain of your own. You don't have a mind of your own. But you want to sit up here and tell me? Uh, and a lot of these people, y'all, they like to bring God, just like they master, bringing God up and everything that they do wrong as if that's going to change it. Like, no, you're still evil as fuck. Still evil as fuck. You're still a demon. You're still the devil. Satan himself. <laughs> I guess that's just how they operate. And that's just what it is. But honestly... That's how I feel, y'all. I'm happy for them. I wish them nothing but the best. Y'all might as well go ahead and have have y'all a little mucker because we got the sour ass, you know, just bitter. <laughs> we gonna leave that alone. Yeah, do y'all thing. Show out. Have five of you married. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, I wish y'all longevity, um, happiness, genuine happiness. I feel like as long as y'all keep social media out of y'all relationship and keep outsiders out of your relationship y'all gonna be good i wish y'all nothing but the best cheers bye y'all post notification shout outs go out to queen amber queen amber shout out to you because you've been here even you know before um the chaos you came back and we rocking we rocking so salute to you um you don't miss the video and i love that for us thank you <laughs> Baby, I wonder, baby, I wonder